All right, so I got your THCP connection error that you guys are getting, and um, you're getting this because your port forwarding is wrong, uh, probably. Um, why did it open Bing? You need to go on your router, so you type in uh, your router into your browser. Uh, Do access control, then we add a port forwarding rule, and uh, now we do a TCP and UDP service. Uh, other external host will be dot, internal host will be our computer. Uh, this is uh, this is my computer, the IPv4 address, so we put this in here. And this dot just means external host is just that everyone can join it. So if you only want your friend to join it, you just type in his IP, uh, his uh, public IP, I think. So if you type that in, only that can join it. But like, so everyone that sends a request can uh, can access this. So like everyone can access this. This is just what this means. External port is um, this is so our port is uh, this one. This is the Rust port. I don't remember what the internal port was. I think it's just the same. Uh, what did I do on last stream? Yeah, it will just have to be the same that we add this rule. I just call it Rust. And now it's on. So, I think you might be getting the THCP error because it needs some time to register in the port forward or something like that. Uh, um, let's try and restart the server. Um, and see if that fixes something. Or we have to wait for the THCP connection from the router port forward. So, it's saying the THCP error because it cannot find a rule on the router that is port forwarding. So it just says that it doesn't have port forwarding. That is basically what the THCP error is. It's just saying, hey, you don't have port forwarding. That you can. It's only you that can join the server. Well, if I load up the server now, I think it should work. So as you can see, there's a rule on the router right now. This one. Yesterday when I tried to make it, it just... Uh, Probably didn't register in as me deleting it, so the rule was still in the router. Then it might take some time for me to get the rule in here, into the router. But I'll just try and reset the router, and hopefully that will fix it. But But I've noticed with the router that it takes a long time for it to like enable the changes I make on it. Um, it could sometimes take up to a day, but if you restart it, I think it should be instant. So you just have to restart your router once you do the settings and it should be fine, basically. Um, you can see if the TCP error will be here and if it's still there, I'll restart the router and see if it's fixed. Um,
And as you can see, there's no DHCP error anymore. That means that anyone can connect to your server, and that that should be that should be the fix. Um, now uh, to configure this, the internal host is yeah, as I said, your IPv4 address, which is this one, 118. It could be it's for you. It could be this number back here. Could be something else like 1716. It could be from uh, one to one to 244. I think yeah. No, 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 no. One to 254. 50, 54. I don't know how to speak English. Okay, but I I do know IT. And. The uh, external port is just this one, so it'll be for you if you you could you copied my config from my uh, when you set up the server. So that should be pretty much it.